How about 25? Um... Good morning. How much is your sorter? Um, probably like eight dollars. Eight bucks. I have brand new. I mean, brand new. I I used to have a store. Oh, did you? So I have like five of them. Okay. So, yeah, they're brand new. I'll give you eight bucks for it. You got any... Eight, um, eight, eight bucks. Eight bucks, yeah, yeah eight yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got any King Griffey Jr. rookies? Uh, who? <laughs> King Griffey Jr. Oh. No, no, no. There you uh, go. Yeah, I probably do, but it's buried in my basement. Okay. Um... Yeah, I just have a lot of stuff, and uh, when I closed my store, I just kind of put it in storage. And sure. We moved here, and then it got scattered in the basement. Um, okay. I have sort of baseball, some of it separated. Yeah. But I have like boxes. All over the you place. Know, like, yeah. This kind of stuff. Yeah, the other supplies, I do have some other supplies too. Yeah. And, uh, um, top loaders and. I have some of those real nice plastic cases, you know, that you can store like a hundred cards in. Uh-huh. But they, they made one really nice and um, square, well, rectangular. Uh-huh. And then they made the cheap ones. Right. Clips. I have both types. Yeah, I'd love to take a look at those. Yeah, I can bring some. Top up. loaders too. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Yeah, I can bring out some up and down stairs. Great. Um, but, uh, yeah, these top loaders were Taiwan ones and they kind mm -hmm. of faded, so I'm selling those pretty cheap. But okay. um, the better ones shouldn't fade. Appreciate you pulling those out. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'm gonna bring up a lot more stuff, but there's some examples. Okay. These are real good. And these are the more the older, cheaper type. The what cost. are you asking on them? Um, kind of depends on. I mean, these are all some of them are used. They have stickers on them. They would be a little cheaper. I have some brand new, uh, good ones. Uh, let me go get some more. Alright, okay, sure. out of the way here. Yeah. What are you asking on your binders? Uh, well, yeah, it's gonna be like this one's mixed things. like uh, yeah. political and comic and stuff. The whole thing. I had to kind of look at them a little bit like on the way up, bringing them, not knowing uh, what was in it. You know, some of the stuff like these were like limited edition postcards. Uh, well, these are yeah the postcards for the X Men. Mm -hmm. They were like a set. Yeah, I know when I sold them to the store, they were like 10 bucks for that set. Most of these are promo cards. Um, the manufacturer would send the, the dealers um, the promo cards. Yeah, almost all this stuff is promo stuff. Yeah, the whole book would probably be about... Um, I'm not in the business anymore, so I don't care as much. Um, say like 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Yeah, for the whole thing. How about 25? Um, I don't think I can go that low. Um, even the pages in the binder. I know those bind these binders are like eight or nine dollars now, probably. Get more up now. I 
about 35. 35. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. And then what are you asking on these guys? I've got all those set aside. Um, let's see. Most of them have stickers on them. These were normally sell for like a dollar or something. Obviously, they'll be cheaper. <laughs> um, probably the whole thing. Six for all of them? Six bucks. All right, I'll get 41. All right. Appreciate you working with me. I pay for that one. Yeah. There you go, sir. Do you have more cards you're pulling out? Yeah. Um, what kind of stuff? Is it just baseball? Or? Baseball, I do a little bit of comic, kind of like whatever, yeah, really. More comic stuff, I think. Do you? These were all like Star Trek. Okay. But yeah, if you have more like Marvel cards, like that kind of thing. Um, let me check. Okay. Okay. Um, we have Star Wars instead of Star Trek too. Okay. This was a play. This was a card game. Interesting. Star Wars card game. And I have another box of these. Okay. But all this stuff, like I said, is at least twenty. I closed my store in '96, so it'd be twenty-five years about now. Okay. So a lot of this is promo stuff. Is that something like that would be like promo? There's some baseball here too. I'm an Indian fan, so these, oh, yeah. these are all in. How much is your yearbook? Um, I have a bunch of those. Yeah. That one's 29. Probably like 50 on that one. 50 bucks? Yeah. Okay. Well, so thank you for pulling this stuff out for me. I appreciate it. Yeah. Good luck to you. All right. Morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Are you selling this? Yes. Right, what are you I'm asking for? I'm gonna put thirty on it. Thirty bucks. I'll take it. You will. Okay. Yeah. I um. Let me know if you need help carrying that. Will you take five for your? Um, are these all the pieces that yeah. were with uh -huh. it? Okay. Yeah. It's like the little shopping basket. It's really cute. There's like a little shopping bag and the little lane and the. the actually, let's put the credit card in here so you don't lose that. Morning. Hey, good morning. How much are your golf clubs? Um, I think it's like the dryer, maybe like five, a dollar for the rest of them. Okay, I'll just make a pile of them. Yeah, a pile. Oh, How did you get out? I've got a driver and then six other clubs. Okay, so eleven Yeah, they're actually fairway woods. Yeah. Is that okay? Okay. I didn't know if you could, that's. They're kind of like drivers. Eleven dollars. I got a wiffle ball bat too. What do you want for the wiffle ball bat? Um. Oh, I see. You got. Yeah. So I've got these right here. Okay. Yep. Um. Fairway Woods. Are they? When you say Fairway Woods. Sorry. Oh, this is. Okay. There's a. This is a hybrid. Yeah. Um. I didn't realize we had this many like. Uh, I don't know, just like a dollar for each, and so including the 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 wiffle ball bat. Okay, so, so the twelve dollars then. 
Um, Does that sound right? Because yeah. it's five for the driver? Yeah, okay. yeah. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'll keep looking around. I'll leave these here for now if that's okay. okay. Yeah, of course. I think I'm going to buy that unless you want it. Do you want that Frisbee golf thing? No, I'm just going to ask someone. Okay. Back check. I think I'm going to buy that Frisbee golf thing. Oh, you want well, to hunt again? I checked with her to make sure I didn't oh, you guys steal that from my Okay, door. awesome. Hi. This is Have good. a good day. Good Thank day. you. What's your name? I'm Barb. This Barb. Is Margaret. Barb Margaret. It's nice oh. to meet you both. You find this stuff? Oh my God. I'm I'm like loaded. Yeah. We yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a nice neighborhood. I have a. It is. Yeah. Do they have it every year? Do you? I think know? so. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Make sure you go all the way down too. Like okay. when you go down and like take another right, just keep on going. There's a lot of them back in there. Good. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hope you find great stuff. You too. It's nice meeting you both. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Have a good day. Hey guys, it is now Monday morning. On Saturday, I only went to a handful of garage sales because my daughter had her first t-ball game. So I cut the garage selling off early at like 8.45, something like that. So I was only out for about an hour. But the ones that I did hit, I did really good at. I'm going to show you what I found. So the first sale today, I got this card organizer. And these things really come in handy because like I'm constantly getting card collections where I'm sorting, you know, by year, team, all that stuff. So I paid eight bucks for that. I mean... A lot of money just for a piece of plastic, but I will put it to you, so I was happy to find that. Also got a bunch of uh, card cases. I think there's like 10 or more, and that was only 6 bucks, so that wasn't too bad. The guy actually had uh, a baseball card shop, so he had a lot of things, you know, priced from what was in his shop, but he was still working with me on prices. I got this whole binder of cards for 35 bucks, and what caught my eye in here is that there was a lot of Marvel and, like, comic stuff. He said that a lot of these were promos that he got since he owned a shop so i don't know you know like if these are rare or like if there's any value this is hyborian gates that's weird teddy girls here's some uh, dc cards that's interesting that is a what is that what does that say some kind of bumper sticker prime mortals these are pretty neat Clear Ultra Spider-Man. It's like an uncut sheet of four. Some Wolverine cards. Here's a bunch of what are these? Ex Executioner's song? Executioner song? Here's a bunch more Marvel. Some pretty cool Spider-Man cards in here. Superman. I don't know a lot about these, but I do know that the Marvel card market has gone up really big here recently. These are postcards. He said it was like a X-Men postcard set. I think there's eight of those. We got some more uncut sheets. Oh, this is cool. Uh, Real Monsters. I remember that show when I was a kid. Here's Superman. Batman. Some pretty neat stuff in here. More uncut sheets. Some Nickelodeon cards. I don't know if 35 is too much for this, to be honest. <laughs> I don't I don't know the value on any of this stuff, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of research and see what I've got on my hands here. But it might just be a bunch of comments. I'm really not sure. He had a lot of other cards for sale, but it seemed like it was all pretty much junk wax, so I just stayed away from that stuff. At another sale, I got a wiffle ball bat for, I think it was a dollar. I've heard that these can have some value, um, but this one I don't think is going to be super old. I don't see a year on it, but I think that there's a chart somewhere online that shows you uh, what year it was made based on the stamp. So if this was, you know, from the 90s, it might be worth 20 bucks or so. But keep an eye out for the old ones because I've seen those go for crazy money. Then I got all these golf clubs for, I think, $11. She said the driver was 5 and then she said all the other ones were a dollar. And I was like, well, some of these are fairway woods and, like, hybrids, you know what I mean? Like, they're bigger clubs, and she was still fine with a dollar a piece. Let me see if I can pull some of these out without all of them falling down here. We've got a Nike Unitize Techno Putter. We've got two, I'm sorry, three, three Nike uh, SQ Mock Speed uh, Fairway Woods. We've got a tailor-made nubbins putter right here. This is a Nike Hybrid Covert VRS. And the driver is Mach Speed Black SQ. 
I'm pretty sure that SQ was part of the Sasquatch series. This has been like 10 to 15 years, maybe more, that Nike did the Sasquatch series. And they haven't even been making clubs for a while. So not sure what the value is on those, but I know they're worth a lot more than I paid for them. I also got this disc golf, uh, I don't know if it's a net or just like a, um, I don't even know what the name of this thing is. I've played disc golf before, but I don't know what these are. I guess like baskets, just like a disc golf basket. It got tangled up <laughs> when I was, bringing it back to the shop so I'll have to do a little bit of detangling. It was 25 bucks and I heard her offer it to the lady for $20 and I made sure that she didn't want it and then I was like hey you know if you'll do 20 bucks I'll go ahead and take it. So I went ahead and bought it. I think I'm just going to keep it here at the shop and just Brennan and I will just have a little fun, take breaks every once in a while and play some disc golf. By far the coolest thing I found is right here. This is a Melissa and Doug one-stop shop. It retails for like $180 or something like that. It's really expensive and the lady only won $30. So I was all over it. I'm gonna take that home to Darcy. I think she's really gonna like it. <laughs> it's like your own little grocery store. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>